Good morning, everybody. Thanks for joining us for our Mount Juliet Chamber of Commerce candidate, uh, our Coffee with a Candidate program. Excited to have with us this morning, um, Tyler Chandler. Tyler is seeking uh, your vote for County Commission District 10, um, kind of in the heart of Mount Juliet. And uh, it's my pleasure right now to introduce Tyler and let him tell him a little bit about himself and what he'd like for the voters to know. Good morning, Tyler. Hey, good morning, Mark. And thank you for this opportunity to, for voters to, to get to know me a little bit more in my effort to run for County Commissioner in, in District 10. You know, it's interesting getting out and speaking with the voters and campaigning. Many don't realize what a County Commissioner does and, and nor do they know what district uh, they're in. So District 10 is a nice smaller district, a high density district, all in the city limits of Mount Juliet. Uh, so if they live in Park Glen, Tuscan Gardens, Stone Hollow, Woodland Place, Timber Trail, Oak Hall, the different streets in between, Somerset Place. You know, I personally live on Thurman Street, uh, Davis Drive, Eston Place, and, and Stone Hollow. Those areas, that little block, are uh, who my constituents will be if I'm uh, elected to uh, this position. And, you know, getting into this, I never thought I'd be getting into politics, but I've served uh, this city for the past 17 years at the police department, living truly my dream job where I started at 18 years old after growing up in the Mount Juliet community since I was nine years old when my family moved here from Texas. And, you know, since being at the police department in all those years, I went off to college at Bethel University and then finished my grad school at Trevecca University, where I also teach as an adjunct professor. And just through all that knowledge and what I see here each and every day in this community, I just got more energized to represent our community on a, on a county level and really surrounding the aspect of public safety. I've just begun to see some things where public safety could be better supported, specifically our ambulance service in the community. And I want to fight for them and I want to fight for our community and I see those deficiencies and I want to do whatever I can to make it better for everyone here. I think it goes without saying that uh, everyone watching myself, thank you for your service to our community. Um, everybody, uh, your name recognition is great. Everybody's friends with Tyler and you've done an, an outstanding job at the police department and really uh, are in the fabric of the community. And you have to think that District 10 may be perhaps the most walkable district there is. So as you're going door to door, um, it sure beats uh, the ones out in the rural district where to get in a car and go to a different driveway down the road all the time. So right. spending a lot of time on the ground walking, going door to door, I'm sure. Um, what, uh, what kind of responses are you or questions are you getting from would-be voters about the, the, the issues that they see as being important? And by that, I'm, I don't want to say negative, but I doubt if you have a whole lot of people telling you everything is just fantastic and you don't need to do anything different. Sure. But if they were going to fix something or change something, what's what's what kind of feedback are you hearing about? Gosh, I wish they could do this. Right. You know, and thankful we live in such a, a wonderful county, a wonderful city. We have great schools. We have great law enforcement uh, and our public safety is pretty good overall. But a lot of the issues that I, that I see is our community is just not aware of. So to me, there's that lack of uh, communication and transparency about truly what affects them. So many times we can become distracted with national political issues that we forget what is truly affecting us on the local level. And with me running for county commission, I wanna enhance that communication, right? And I've done that with our police department, uh, I teach at other police departments on how to build relationships and, and enhance that communication overall. And I hope to bring that experience as a county commissioner and just be there for the people, be there for someone they can call, reach out to someone who is super responsive to their needs and someone who will take what they say and then take that up uh, to the county commission with the other county commissioners that I serve with and relay that to them so they everyone else understands what the needs are of our community are. But uh, from door to door, meeting with people, the phone calls that I've received, the emails that I've received, the biggest concern is people are, are always worried about more taxes going up, right? Uh, and they're worried as our community grows, 
and then the more need for infrastructure, uh, such as public safety and schools and paying our teachers right and paying our public safety professionals right, they're worried that taxes may go up. And that's not necessarily the case. We're definitely, as Wilson County, is one of the lowest county taxes around and we can hopefully keep it that way, but it takes you know, good financial planning, conservative financial planning, understanding the budget, understanding where different allocations can be made. And I'm not gonna be the politician that's gonna come in, in front of you today and say, I'm against this, I'm against that, because truly I don't know. As a newcomer coming into this, I need to meet with other department heads, look at the county budget with all the details that I will get as a county commissioner and understand what cuts will do to other people or what raises will do for other people. Uh, you have to do your due diligence anytime we're talking about uh, funding different departments in our county to ensure everyone is funded properly and appropriately so we have the best services that we can. Great answer. The, uh, the people that you're talking to, um, many if not most, uh, myself included, are not necessarily from here. So mm -hmm. we're moving in and most of us and the people today that are moving here, they have a choice. They could go probably to any community surrounding the Nashville area if they came down here for a job. They, those that are following their grandkids, maybe they didn't have a choice, but uh, people come here because they want to. Mm -hmm. Other than a good school system, top, top notch and award-winning school system, what else do you think it is that attracts people to this area that maybe the county commission has some impact on, um, you know, whether it's quality of life or whatever that you would hope to keep the good things good as a, as a county commissioner. Right, absolutely. I think it's the same thing that brought my family here back in the 90s is, is the good quality of life, but also the culture and the people of our community that we all work so hard to maintain and take care of each other. Number one with our community is we do truly look after each other. We saw that through the March 2020 uh, tornado. You know, I was on the ground, one of the first commanders on the scene. I was in my basement when that was coming through, telling our officers where to stay away from, getting those details from the weather service. And that tornado hit us, caused a lot of damage, but our community really came together and helped one another. And that was shown on a large scale in a disaster type environment, but it's the daily stuff that happens every day, you know, from our faith-based community that always reaches out to help each other and help others here to our school system where our teachers work hard each and every day uh, to be there for our students. And, you know, I remember that the old Mount Juliet Elementary School, Mark, and you remember this building, a lot of people in Mount Juliet now don't, but I just remember having dedicated teachers there. And, you know, one was my third grade teacher, Miss Gagne, and now she continues to be at Mount Juliet Elementary School, but we just hired a police officer. He just went through the academy, and now that is his mother-in-law is Miss Gagne, who is my elementary school teacher. So it's really full circle, community oriented. I'm grateful for the different people that move here. I know others may say they wish Mount Juliet wouldn't grow larger, but there's no way to stop that, right? And you know that with the chamber. And if something's good, people are going to come to the good. And I think that's important where us as elected officials have to maintain that good, right? We have to maintain that quality of life and maintain what continues to bring people here and make it great for everyone, such as our, our infrastructure, our businesses, our public safety and our, and our school system, but overall that, that quality of life, right? Uh, that makes our town enjoyable. You can go out and just think, man, this is a beautiful place to live. It's safe. Uh, my children are getting a good education and the businesses are wonderful. Well, I agree that uh, not everybody's excited about growth. Uh, I'm reminded often that uh, my office happens to be on the exact location of the playground of the Mount Juliet Elementary yeah, School yeah. in the old days. So <laughs> I I'm think trying to take where I, there was a, a bunch of rocks at one point yeah. in time. That was like the fort of Mount Juliet Elementary, right? Yeah. Uh, but it's, no, I'm, yeah. uh, I'm doing the best I can to, to take care of your playground, folks. So I promise you. So, uh, <laughs> you know, it is, uh, you know, it is nice, uh, even with just when we were able to go down to the Circle P Ranch, you know, it may not seem, but you could get, it was like a step back in time and right. those roots are, are still, um, you know, whether it's Rice's Country Ham or American Jewelry, there's, there's businesses around here that remind us of uh, what it was. And I think we have a responsibility to take care of what was given to us uh, Absolutely. You know, and, and prepare and respect what, what's coming. So uh, 
Uh, good answer, but. Um, yeah, I hope we can still maintain that hometown feel. You know, uh, we may be becoming a larger city, but we can still be kind to each other, still have that hometown feel where when the police captain is out eating all the time, he's recognized and, and, and friendly with that. Same with our police chief and all of our police officers, you know, and, and I, I love that hometown feel where we approach this truly as uh, community servants, whether you're elected official or in any type of public service where you just take care of the community and do whatever you can, right? Uh, if someone needs a tire change, you change the tire. Uh, if someone needs some litter picked up in their front yard, you go help them out. You know, whatever we can do to help, we help. I think that's representative of, uh, you know, of the culture um, with our with our public servants. Uh, you know, it was just uh, seems like within the last week to 10 days, our police department, uh, or I mean, our fire department loaded up equipment and personnel and went to, to help our friends in need in Sevier County, if I'm not mistaken, Absolutely. over in Gatlinburg. So, uh, and that was paid in advance many times over on March the 3rd, a couple of years ago when uh, exactly they, right. were, they were coming from everywhere. So um, no one thing you can put your finger on, but it's definitely different around here. Absolutely. I, um, oftentimes I'll ask someone uh, because it's the typical, what would you like to focus on in your first hundred days? Well, Let's not maybe talk about 100 days, but there will be a learning curve. What do you think those first few months will look like um, from your perspective if you're elected to the county commission? One thing about me, Mark, is I've, I've seen a lot of different politicians through my day in service and public safety. I've seen very good ones, and there's very good ones who serve our city today. And I've seen some where I've learned from. And what I've learned is it's important to be honest because I see politicians say things that they've either done and they really truly haven't done or they voted on and truly haven't voted on. And I've seen some that make these promises that they're going to fix everything. And that's not something I'm going to be able to do is fix everything. As a county commissioner, I am one of many county commissioners across this county. And it really takes 13 votes uh, to get something passed and through. But I think first in my first 100 days, it's important to build those relationships with my community, which I have that are already very strong, but to give them the tools that they need to stay transparent with uh, the county government and what I am voting on for them, such as a dedicated website for them that they can go to, such as quick communication channels to me, which I've already set up through this campaign process so everyone knows how to get ahead of me or get a hold of me, and they also know where to go to get information about what I'm I'm voting on. Uh, so I think it's establishing those relationships, establishing those relationships with the different department heads and learning about those different departments and fellow elected officials. It's important that we get along very well. And uh, okay. my Amazon fish. Alexa is going on. Fish taco from Food Network. 38 minutes to make. Search for. What would you like? Let's we'll let that Start go real recipe. quick. I don't hey. know how I got a fish hey. recipe out of that, but of all the... Uh, Amazon stuff at our home, the automatic stuff is going on. I, I heard her say dinner for four. I don't know. Count me in, I guess. So. Yeah. Okay. For fish. Let me go unplug that thing. You I'll got it. Right go back. ahead. All right. Give tell tell Lex I said, hey. I will. What would you like? Start recipe. Send it to your phone or hear next recipe. All right, Mark. Thanks hey. so much. I, said, I told Alexa hi, and I unplugged her as quick as I we, could. We're all good. <laughs> we have a love-hate relationship with Alexa at home. I understand. Right. So, but let's get know, back to those, you know, those relationships and building those with the uh, elected officials so we can all work together because at the county commission, it truly is a team effort. And uh, I don't want to see anyone get upset or hurt feelings over anything that goes on. I wish to see politicians that truly work together for the good of our community. And they, again, they work together. They don't get angry with each other and, and they move this county forward in, in a positive direction. So that's where I see my, my first 100 days. Fair to say that um, with your current position with the Mount Juliet Police Department, that some of these department heads that you're speaking of, whether that's the road commission, public works, um, maybe solid waste, certainly the sheriff's department, emergency services, schools, those relationships, you're not starting from scratch with those. Those are people you've already worked with, Correct. in some cases on a weekly or daily basis, I would imagine. 
Yeah, absolutely. I was in a meeting yesterday with uh, Joey Cooper, uh, our sheriff at the Wilson County 911, trying to do what we could to further our emergency response and our 911 system to make it better. So, you know, I talk to different folks weekly, sometimes daily uh, in my service. And I think that is something about me that will be unique in this race is my experience in public safety, specifically law enforcement, and especially on a growing police agency, because a lot of what, or and public safety agency, because a lot of what I've done with Mount Juliet Police is I'm the guy there that truly gets us up to speed on where we need to be with our infrastructure to serve the community. So if you think of Guardian Shield, our police radio system, the current project where we are expanding our police headquarters, the strategic plan that uh, is, has been underway and established our budget. Uh, you know, behind the scenes, that, that's, that's who's working on that is me. Uh, behind the scenes, of course, with Chief Hambrick, uh, you know, people see the public face of me through my media relations or my updates uh, or me at community events, but that's maybe about 10% of what Tyler Chandler does at the police department. The other 90% of Tyler Chandler at the police department is taking care of his police officers ensuring that they have what they need, taking care of the community, speaking with them, ensuring that we're serving them properly, but also strategic planning uh, and speaking with other agencies to ensure we're all working together and serving our community as best as we can. You brought up Guardian Shield, and I will say, I will put a plug in for that because it is, it's almost funny to a point where you're in a room with multiple other people and everybody starts getting the same little text message and it's just unanimous, hey, they got another one. We just got another one. So uh, everybody that's getting those text alerts knows when the guardian shield, when y'all have uh, yeah, caught another, another bad person or a person doing bad things. So, uh, Hey, let's go ahead great, and finish up time. our time together today. Um, sure. I'd like for you, if you would just wrap it up, Tyler, with why you feel like uh, you're the best uh, candidate for this position and, uh, and, and be sure to ask everybody for your vote for their vote. Yeah, absolutely, Mark. And again, I do appreciate this opportunity to speak with you, but I think what makes me different from other people who are running for this position is my connections with the community and the love I have for this community, right? I've served it uh, for over 17 years with integrity and honesty. And, you know, no matter the time of day, I'm going to be here to help each and every one that's out here. My experience in city government and working with other county departments uh, gives me that, that extra leg and with the relationships that are built to hopefully help them serve our community even better. Uh, but I'm also very transparent and I like to have good communication. You know, communication is super important with any relationship, whether it's with your wife at home uh, or serving your community, right? And if you don't have good communication, you likely don't have a good relationship. And I truly want to have a relationship with the people that I serve, that if they have issues on a county level, they know who they can talk to uh, to speak about this. You know, one of the focuses that I have is a quality, sustainable infrastructure and public safety. I want to be there uh, for our growth and to ensure that we are planning for our growth, whether it's the uh, school projects, different road projects that we have influence over, but also our public safety professionals to ensure we have proper ambulances and firefighters out there serving us as our city continues to grow. And with the firefighters, I'm thankful to have that endorsement from the Wilson County uh, Firefighters Association. Uh, you know, they did send that endorsement my way uh, for the District 10 County Commissioner. I think we also need to focus on continued success in education. Wilson County Schools is one of the best schools around, but we need to maintain that. We need to ensure that our teachers are properly uh, funded uh, with their salary so we can attract and recruit good teachers. You know, they have the biggest influence over our, our kids in the community, and uh, we need to ensure that they are properly backed uh, and have the support that they need, but also ensuring that we put families first, too, uh, where families and parents have influence over uh, what, you know, children are learning in schools and they have that proper input. And you mentioned earlier in this is about, you know, what could we see for businesses that would we would bring to our county to help our county grow, but also help our local businesses. And you mentioned higher paying jobs, and that's exactly right. I'd like to see more professional 
uh, local job opportunities out there. A lot of our community members leave to go to Nashville or elsewhere to work. Uh, and it would be nice if they could stay local and work at uh, some nice technology firm in town or, or a, a larger healthcare type industry, maybe research industry in our area. And I think there's a lot of Nashville based industries that could easily recruit out this way. Uh, and I think we see more and more of that moving over. You look at Vanderbilt Health, who continues to move and expand out uh, in, in our area. Uh, but I, and I truly would like to see more of the professional type jobs where they live here, they truly go to work here, but then they're also shopping at all of our local businesses here. That, that thing about shop local, right? You know, our local businesses do a lot. Uh, I think of, you know, Joe Pericone at Local Joe's or Carmelita uh, down at Sisters Whimsy, right? Uh, and you know, they've been around for, for a bit, maybe with different businesses in the community, but they've been here and they're always willing to help out when they can help out. And I truly would like to see more patronage to those businesses so we can keep them sustaining uh, as best as they can. And, and that, that's going to be my focus. But those first couple of days, once elected, it's, it's getting in there, it's establishing those communications channels with my community members, but also working with the other elected officials. So we work as a team. Uh, to get this county moving forward in a positive direction. And it's been going going positive. Of course, anything can be better. Uh, with my life, I could always improve things. With the police department, we can always improve things. But I think uh, it goes down to your heart, your honesty, your transparency uh, to try to make things better, to listen to the people, because truly uh, we're serving them and we want to serve them and, and provide the best representation as possible. Very well said, my friend. Hey, I appreciate your time this morning. Yeah. I appreciate your friendship and your support of the chamber and what you do in the community. I want to wish you um, the best of luck to you, to your campaign, and to thank all of those people that uh, have um, supported you along the way. And I know our paths will cross soon. I hope you have a great rest of the day. Yeah, absolutely, Mark, and appreciate you. And for folks who want to learn more about me, they can go to my website, which is www.tylerjchandler.com. And I would appreciate everyone's vote. And Mark, thank you for everything you do in this opportunity. You're very welcome. Have, Have a good, good rest man. of the day. All right. We'll make See a difference. Bye.